All right, so uh, I saw that while I was editing together the uh, previous episode that uh, there was an owl in the background when uh, Sophia was uh, talking to Liam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of reminds me of my first death in my fur fourth playthrough of the... Uh, what's it called? Red Dead 2. I think there's something back here. But yeah, um, we might... But yeah, we might have to deal with a... Um, owl! While we're going up to save, uh, doesn't say one or two either. Okay, so this one is number two. Okay. Uh, why is there a giant fucking hole here, though? Vermin. There's a strong scent of them. Liam's heart dropped like a lead weight. It was Freyby. Liam knew he should get back to camp and make a plan with the others. But if he left Freyby alone, who knows what would happen to him? There was nothing for it. Liam knew he had to help Freyby somehow. Great. Ooh, that's the owl. Ah, ah, what are you doing? Let me go! Oh, brigands, thugs, caterins. Not a hint of honor to be seen. Mm, all the skirmishes south by southwest, another advancing upstream. Squads flanking east and others upon the escarpments. <laughs> what are these raiders about? Who oh, commands them? What could possibly draw these filthy vermin to my hunting ground? Lily Grove! They're attacking Lily Grove! Check your swollen tongue, Mouse. Oh, the moment my cogitations complete is the moment you're unmade. I presume you prefer not to truncate my deliberation. <laughs> Ugh. Liam's heart raced. He knew full well he walked a narrow trail along the edge of Dark Forest. One wrong move and he'd be supper. He'd have to be clever. He'd have to be quick. The trick would be speaking to manners of honor and acting with respect. Simple utility would not be enough to impress a creature so proud. Honor and respect. Scumstout. Their leader's name is Scumstout, sir. Oh, that ferine brute. I must dissent. Such half-wits may drive troops, but never pilot them. No. Surely another voice gives command. Surely it falls on me to root these curs. Oh, and I relish the challenge, and yet the proper tactics escape me. The canopy masks their movements from on high, making my strikes inaccurate. Oh. I confess, I am vexed. My mother oh. always taught me to work together to face a problem. Oh, you aim to gain my sympathies? 
<laughs> you are no peer of mine. A beast after my own heart, perhaps. Though not my presence, of course. Your recklessness amuses me. Mildly. Enough to hear you out. I'm gonna die so hard. Rate, uh, pretty. Elaborate. I can help. Tell me how I can help you. I'll do anything you say. Oh, a fool indeed who relies on his enemies to provide a solution for his very life. The time for talk is done, my Epicurean companion. You are of little use to me much longer. Deign not to beg. It is unseemly. Now, we lunch. Ow. Yep, <laughs> of course. Liam's heart dropped like a lead weight. So I guess I need to have my... Um, my heart up very high, very high. There he goes. Okay, honor and something else. Shame I don't know what is going to be said. <laughs> Oh, bring it. Lily Grove. Check your swollen tongue, Mouse. Oh, the moment my God. Liam's heart raced. Oh, he knew for. Freebie's in danger. He needs my help. I deduce you refer to the other mouse atop the chestnut. <laughs> oh, you are indubitably too late. And surely too weak to do anything in that regard. <laughs> surely it falls on me to these cups. Surely you have nah, doubted not. I don't A beast know after mine. <laughs> Sorry. Suffer me to be to the time for talking. This is gonna take a while. Ow. So, who can tell I'm not the smartest, perhaps? Uh. Liam's heart dropped like a lead weight. Check your swollen tongue, Mouse. <laughs> Liam's heart raced. He knew full well he walked a narrow trail along the edge of Dark Forest. One wrong move. It's a raiding party. They're plundering my home. Indeed. I witnessed as much. But your thesis is silent to their wanton presence here. Is nearly a gooseberry to be forged. <laughs> Surely it falls on me to these curs. Oh, and I relish the challenge. Surely you have some idea. But I doubt it not. Which renders you quite useless. Safe. A beast after my own heart. Captain, sir, your strength is mighty indeed. You said yourself, all you need is eyes. Let me sneak in and signal to you where to strike. It is a courageous plan to be sure. Though perilous and risking much on the wee one's witness. The time for talk is done. Give me a moment with this. Eleven minutes already? What the? F Twelve minutes already? Liam's heart dropped. How the 
hell of 12 minutes already gone. Well, <laughs> they're about. <laughs> Brigands! Frog! Check your swollen tongue, mouse. <laughs> the moment my god Liam's heart rate. Scumstout! Their leader's name is Scumstout, sir. <laughs> that ferine brute. Surely it falls on me to root these curs. Oh, and I relish the challenge. And yet the proper tactics escape me. The canopy masks their movements from on high, making my strikes inaccurate. I confess, I am vexed. Plan! I have a plan! You patronize me, look. <laughs> and yet I am intrigued. A beast after my own heart, perhaps. Though not my presence, of course. Your recklessness amuses me. Mildly. Enough to hear you out, at any rate. Pretty elaborate. We put our heads together. Oh, a fool indeed. The time for talk is done, my Epicurean companion. I didn't see the same. I don't see the same Liam's stuff heart. showing up all the time, but uh, you know. I have. Check your swollen tongue. Liam's heart rate. <clears throat> Scumstout! <clears throat> that fit. <clears throat> Surely it falls on me to root these curs. I can help you! Allow me, if I may, sir. To offer my assistance, feeble though it may be. You patronize me, look. <laughs> and yet I am intrigued. A beast after my own heart, perhaps. Though not my presence, of course. Your recklessness amuses me. Mildly. Enough to hear you out, at any rate. Pretty... Elaborate. Captain, sir, your strength is mighty indeed. You said yourself, all you need is eyes. Let me sneak in and signal to you where to strike. Tis a courageous plan to be sure. Though perilous and risking much on the wee one's witness, I shall indulge this ludicrous fantasy of yours pro temporum. <laughs> Succeed, and you may draw breath a little longer. Cross me, mouth, and you will witness my gizzard. Oh. Okay, he took us all the fucking way back to... Jeez! <laughs> Back to the damn start! Hmm. I see them! 118 south, east at minus three. What are we doing out in this? Oh 
Your gambit bears oh, no. fruit, my Picayune Picnic. You have earned your next breath, but not my certitude. Why have you come? Ooh. My betrothed is ill, and my honor and happiness hangs on helping her. We make for the Winsome Wraith. Oh, perhaps you're more noble than you look, young mouse. Ooh. Notwithstanding your purpose, you irrational insect, I ask in earnest, do you know who I am? I am a scout of Lily Grove, serving under Captain Robin on a mission... I know nothing of owls, but I know you must have also served based on your title. Hmm. I'm dead. Captain Robin? <laughs> Surely not Spring Hunter, a worthy woodlander to be sure, but Captain? Hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> Perhaps I'll further query this tufted fool again. <laughs> on bosom your bloodline, mouse. <laughs> on bosom? You want to know about my family? I'm Liam Rivermouse. My family reigns from Castle Flore. Shall I suffer your entreaties? You must. Hmm. This, I hope I won't have to fucking do everything again. That's gonna be so annoying. Oh, jeez. I see them. 118 South. What are we doing out in this? For the love of Nick Your gambit bears fruit, my Picayune Picnic. You have earned your next breath, but not my certitude. Why have you come? Ooh. I seek assistance, sir. My betrothed lies poisoned and dying beneath the mighty Juniper. We make haste for the Winsome Wraith. Ooh, the shaman, mm, to seed your beloved's fate upon the empire's alchemy of those shifty stoats. You will need assistance, indeed. Notwithstanding your purpose, you irrational insect, I ask in earnest, do you know who I am? Captain Robin like that. sent us to the Winsome Wraith. We were... Hmm. Captain... Hmm. Fascinating. <coughs> you can see my uniform clear as day. I'm a scout. And that's the only bloodline that matters. Ooh, they say the blood of battle is thicker than the water of the womb. Ooh, a true scout in name and nature, accepted and benighted by names I esteem and credit. Ooh, attend me, you flappy frump. I am content to extend our entente. I suggest you not take my grace for granted. This is not good. Quite sure Dorabella and the other two got away. Or at least hit <coughs> before, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, no. 
They've captured Ichabod. 260 degrees west by minus 16. Huh? Oh, what's a big thing of flying up? On Glacier Honor. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with this all in time oh, now. We did it! Ooh, pardon me. I mean you. You did it, sir. Oh, oh, quite right. Oh, quite right. Uh, you do well to eulogize your deliverer, young one, and I am not averse to adulation. Assuming the credit falls what it ought, namely upon my wraith like wings. And yet such exertions leave me rather peckish. And well, you deserve a snack. I thought I saw a plump old rat back down below the trees. I could help you find him yet again. Oh, seduction is your strategy. Hmm. Attempting to allure my eye away from your hide to his. What reasonable ploy. If predictable. Oh, I'll concede, comestible, that you've proven potent and deserve to draw another breath. But you remain, as before, an interloper, deserving of digestion. Why shouldn't I eat you? Because the job remains undone, of course. You've only scattered the vermin when they ought to be fully routed. Disappointing. You seek to stall whilst deliberating on a more convincing entreaty. Well, nonetheless, your point is well made. <laughs> Still, I am at best irresolute. To feed or not to feed, that is the question. Whether it is nobler <laughs> to suffer the darts and arrows of thither outrageous vermin alongside this valiant yet delectable snack. Hmm. Or to count my spoils now, and my imposition in it. Well, perhaps you could extend a little kindness, and not eat me I at all. Let you go, preposterous. I'm dead. However, the assertion is equitable. A path I have hitherto left unevaluated. Mm. All in all, your metal outweighs your wit. And as one soldier to another, I salute you, we one. What you lack in breeding, you countervail with courage. Once more into the breach! I don't see. Oh, I'm so dead. <clears throat> oh, we hit. Oh, oh my God, that's far up. <coughs> Meanwhile, Freybe is just absolutely there, whistling. Between the ruined walls, at 102 East. 26 degrees below the horizon. <coughs> Frave is probably afraid of the. Um... Uh, it can't be. You can't see the. You can't see the owl. That took me 26 minutes. Holy shit. Yeah. Hmm. Absolutely wonderful. Liam felt almost dizzy with power. Had he finally just teamed up with an owl? Our transient transaction is complete, it seems. For now. <laughs> Snow's fearsome voice drew Liam back to reality as he dropped Freby at his feet. <laughs> you and your appetizing ally would be best advised to flee. 
With all fortitude from my forest, I can promise no immunity to those who trespass or tarry for too long. <laughs> Liam, what do you think you're doing here? Uh, I just saved your life. Your fire! They saw the smoke! What? They sent two rats to investigate. Sophia's in danger! No! Faster, Freebie! Come on! Sophia and Albert don't stand a chance against those vermin! I tried to warn you! Oh, how could I have been so stupid? A uh, fire he didn't wish burning bright during a mission! He danger for if something's happened... Them. If they're... Oh, quit chatting and move! That's what happened. So... Albert... Why did you leave them, Liam? I warned you! Don't you listen to your scout's call? I thought you needed help! I heard your whistle! Three means danger! And... And that used to mean run, I know! But... I'm a scout now! Scouts go toward danger! Not away! You blinking green initiate! You haven't got to prove yourself! If I'd wanted you to follow me, I would have whistled twice. Twice to come. You know this. I... But... Oh, I'm such a fool. Wait. Damn right. Liam. Look. There are tracks here. Tracks leading... North. North. Aye. They must have been captured. But at least we know they're alive. Then that means I have to find them. Rats or no? Let's go then. You two obviously need my help. They moved through the forest as quickly and quietly as they could. Now that he had his wits about him again, Liam knew their only chance was the element of surprise. Come on, Freddy. Stay low. I am low. It was only a few hours before they finally saw it. The Mole Man, Camp Silver Sands, normally abandoned for the winter months, was now occupied by the Sea Rats. This must be where they took Sophia and Albert. Hmm. Looks like other woodlanders have been captured too. We've got to get in there. If we make some kind of distraction, perhaps we can get inside. Aye, that was my idea. I'm on the distraction. I am a master of destructions, you know. <laughs> no, we shouldn't split up. We'll be just fine. Leave it to me. You get in there and find Sophia and Albert, then meet me at that warehouse on the other side of the camp. Okay? Oh, freebie. Now is not the time to make a ruckus. So what I found is a bond. And I found this other one too. So, no, they found no one else actually, so, I think about it. So yeah, uh, misunderstanding of the uh, call signals, or whistles, so uh, yeah, time, that took forever to do, like, nothing. <laughs>